see is the expansion of the internet off the planet. The Take on Tech. Click Saturday and Sunday at 12.30 on the BBC News Channel. I'm Tom Kerridge, chef and pub owner. And for the past year, I've been working with struggling pubs across Britain. But none of us could ever have imagined the crisis that lay ahead. Now is the time to avoid pubs. Is this last orders for Britain's locals? No way. Not on your Nelly. Saving Britain's pubs with Tom Kerridge starts Thursday at 8 on BBC Two and iPlayer. This is BBC News with me, Sean Lay. The headlines this hour. Joe Biden says his win in the US presidential election is a convincing victory for the people, and he promises to unite and heal the country. I pledge to be a president who seeks not to divide, but unify. Who doesn't see red states and blue states, only sees the United States. Victory for Mr. Biden and his running mate, Kamala Harris, will make history by becoming the first female vice president, sparked nationwide celebrations among Democrat supporters. In other news, Manchester United footballer Marcus Rashford describes government U-turn over free school meals in England as a massive step. Donald Trump has not yet conceded the 2020 presidential contest to Joe Biden. The White House said he would accept the results of a fair election. The UK government is urging people to mark Remembrance Sunday at home this year by taking part in the two-minute silence, which is in, in about 25 minutes' time, and we'll be bringing that to you. Watching events on television and sharing personal stories over social media. Well, now on BBC News, we're going to cross to central London to join the commemorations in the traditional Remembrance Sunday uh, celebrations from Whitehall in central London. And now the official march of the Royal Navy, Heart of Oak, 